Hi, this is James Gunner from Redmonk, aka Monk Chips. I'm here with Timo Elliott from SAP Business Objects. Uh, a lot of people these days are using the framework when they present at a conference. Uh, they bring Twitter into the conversation so that you can not just take questions from the floor, um, but from the entire internet. Uh, it, it makes for a more participative event, and uh, it, a lot of uh, the cooler conferences have been doing this. And I think it's kind of interesting, uh, Timo here has hacked together a way of actually integrating PowerPoint with Twitter, uh, with Twitter tools. You can download this and uh, why don't you show us uh, what, what it's about, Timo? Okay, so let me just show some quick examples. Um, so this uses, uh, these are built using an SAP Business Objects tool called Excelsius. And you simply put in whatever term you're interested in finding out about here down in the little box. And this is uh, embedded in a do that right. This is embedded in the PowerPoint slide and it will bring in the latest information about a particular term. So you can see in you know, a red monk um, the latest tweets and this will update every 30 seconds automatically during your presentation. Uh, the tools are free to use and we have that format uh, feedback slide or oh, nice. like a ticker format. So it will uh, again update uh, and you can have this along every slide if you like. And uh, you can even update directly from. One the thing the ticker bar is missing. You've got to have the avatar faces in the. Next version. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and finally, there's uh, various uh, different ways of voting. Yeah, this was the question: uh, Is this innovation from SAP? And uh, I believe the Timo Elliott vote. That, that was uh, my vote. Yes. Won it. <laughs> so the idea is uh, somebody you can ask your uh, the people in the audience to send a tweet and uh, count up the votes on different options. Yeah, Twitter voting makes a lot of sense. Uh, you can see the URL here down at the bottom of the screen, sapweb20.com, and they're completely free to use, and if anybody has any feedback, I'd be like to try and add it into the next uh, version of the prototype. Well, thank you, Timo, and uh, you hit it here first, folks.